the innovations are drawing yeah. big attention to us. That's true. And the cathedral hive is, I mean, if you know top bars and you know the other to hive types, it's just fantastic to work with. You can tell that it's, the bees do really well in it. And the cathedral hive is now, you know, everyone's like, well, what's that? We're really linking that and what we do to natural beekeeping. And so mm -hmm. a lot of people are now going, well, we tried bees doing the bees this method and they keep dying. So maybe we're not doing something right. Let's see what these guys are doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, makes sense. That's, that's really cool. And who would you say is the ideal customer? Do you have an ideal customer or do you have, is it kind of go across the range from beginners to more advanced people that show up on your site and get the most out of it? Or what would you say about that? The ideal customer is women. They like gardening and maybe they have backyard chickens. Then uh, it's funny because a lot of people, you know, they want to do something for the environment. They want to do something for, you know, nature and the planet. And what can they do? It's an amazing thing that you can do to keep the pollinators healthy and happy. And mm -hmm. so we started this, um, you know, we coined the phrase a bee guardian. When I was started, everyone was like, oh, you're a beekeeper. And I'm like, I'm not a beekeeper because I don't smoke the bees. I don't put sugar in. I don't do all this stuff. So I'm, don't put me in that. And then the beekeepers tried to say, oh, you're a bee haver, right? Like kind of derogatory, like, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you're a hobby beekeeper. I'm like, no, dude, this is not a hobby. This is, we're talking about genetics. We're talking about <laughs> superorganisms. Uh, we're doing research projects. So that's why we coined the term bee guardian. So our ideal person out there wants to be a bee guardian and some that helps preserve and protect the genetics of the bees and from that angle. Yeah. And then once people get bees in their backyard, it's amazing. We just, cause we hear, you know, everybody's story all the time. And it's like, they just have this huge awareness of what's around them now. For full conversations and future content, please subscribe at offthegridbiz.com.